between the vlog from this weekend and my MacBook was not charging and I I don't know why I it might be my MacBook charger because it was charging my phone at the same time but I'm only at like 20% and it literally won't charge and I don't have another charger so I'm going to Best Buy right now to see if they can maybe look at it and see if it's a charger problem or a computer problem. I've had it for like four years and I've never had a problem with it. So I just hope they can figure it out. by in Chesterfield and they couldn't get me in for like two days to even like look at my charging ports at the geek squad there so I was like desperately looking for somewhere to go and the Apple store at the mall closer to downtown had a appointment at 1 15 so I like booked it there and I went in and he looked at it and he says that my back charging port isn't working at all but the front charging port was still working so i bought a new charger the good thing is one of the ports still works and i can still charge it and it works fine for now crisis averted i guess but now i'm like 45 minutes away from home and it's snowing again Hi, welcome to my hometown bedroom. This is Ruby, my family dog. <laughs> I wanted to show you guys while I was at the mall getting the uh, new charger for my MacBook. I went into Sephora because I had a gift card and I've been meaning to go, but we don't have one in Columbia. I've been wanting to try this new foundation. I know Julia Havens, she's like one of my favorite YouTubers um tried it out and she like was raving about it so i was like okay i have to try it because it's supposed to be really lightweight it's, it's the sephora collection best skin ever it says perfect natural finish long wear foundation yeah and they like tested me um or color what is it what's it called oh yeah color match they shade matched me and this is the shade i think i'm the lightest shade i'm 04n we we're between two but i wanted to go lighter not darker so i want to try it out but i'll probably do it tomorrow morning it's like i had points for a little item at the checkout and i've been wanting to try this because it's been all over tiktok it's the tiger grass correcting cream and it's like that green um, like tint that you could just massage on and it corrects your redness. I'm gonna try this out real quick on camera. It says neutralizes redness and protects skin, improves skin appearance to be vibrant, and it has 30 SPF, so. A little bit of this. I'm just about to go to dinner with my family, so I don't wanna wear makeup, but I think this will help a little bit. Everyone I've seen put it on does it like this. And I have very red undertoned skin. What do we think? I feel like it, like, I think it definitely did something. Yeah, I think it did do something actually. I mean, it's just like nice if you don't want to put makeup on, but it, actually did kind of I feel like it kind of like smoothed my skin out at least hmm, I like it and this hoodie is so cute 
This hoodie is from Nasty Gal. It's actually sold out already, but this is from Nasty Gal. I got a size medium. It's supposed to be oversized, but I feel like I could even done a large. It's like it fits me a little bit big, but I kind of wanted it to be bigger. I'm going to go to dinner with my um, mom and brother and sister and hang out with them for the night. Well, I'm going to stay uh, tonight go to the dentist tomorrow night, and then I probably will drive back to school after that. I'll take you guys with us to dinner. We're just gonna go get Mexican, so. just took a shower and ate some breakfast and I'm about to get ready. I wanted to try the foundation on camera for the first time. I'm about to go to the DMV to get my, I have to get a new license so I'm about to go there. But it does look kind of light. That was way too much actually. Uh, I definitely used way too much. Ew. So here it is all blended in. I think it's definitely a little bit light. Like it's making me really washed out looking. It looks really good on the camera. But when I look in the mirror, it does kind of look... <clears throat> No, like it looks kind of powdery almost which is fine i think my skin is just really dry right now but overall i mean i think it's pretty good for a 20 dollar foundation so i'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll see how it looks with um i didn't have any bronzer here i just had blush so i put a little bit of blush on i think i like it actually it is very like lightweight and natural looking yeah i think it's really pretty it's definitely buildable but like it doesn't feel super like cakey on my skin so hi everybody so a little update I went to the DMV and it didn't go well, of course. I didn't have like, I had to have two pieces of mail or something and I only had one. I didn't get done what I needed to get done there, but I'm back home now and I'm just doing some homework and watching Kenzie Elizabeth's um, new vlog. 42 and I have a dentist appointment at four o'clock and then I'm gonna drive back to school tonight finish up it's just one discussion post i need to do so i'm gonna do that real quick and then i think i'm gonna go up to the tg max that's in my town because it's a good one and we don't have tg max back at school and i'm just looking for notebooks like i just want to get a couple notebooks because for my classes i don't have notebooks yet So I finished my discussion post and I'm going to go ahead and go to TJ Maxx real quick. I'm going to load up my car to um, go back to school so I don't have to do that later when it's dark out. But yep, I'm going to take you guys with me to TJ Maxx. And
drop Mason off at his house and I just heated up some of this leftover like sweet potato casserole we made but it doesn't look that good but it's so good and I just put some corn tortilla shells on here and I'm just gonna make like little tacos and eat that for lunch while I do some more homework so I just finished eating and I'm gonna take a shower real quick because I just worked out and I have a spray tan at five o'clock and I want to like shave and exfoliate and everything but I just like felt like I really needed a spray tan like I just feel so pale and I just feel like prettier when I'm tan and I just feel really pale right now but the lady I go to in Colombia has a discount like every Wednesday it's only like $18 and she does it herself and like she's really good at it so I'm gonna go to see her and get that done at 5 and then yeah I'll probably show you guys what it looks like tonight I wanted to show you guys what I do about once a week or every other week I dermaplane my face at home I'm actually a licensed esthetician and I'm, I know how to do the actual dermaplaning with like a, a surgical blade but I don't use a surgical blade when I'm just doing it at home. I could go get some but I think these ones are like good enough. I just got these ones at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They sell them in like packs of eight or so and they're just they have a little cover on them and it's just like a blade and I use this probably like probably twice because they get dull pretty fast but I wanted to show you guys how I do it because it literally will take off all the dead skin and it makes your makeup go on like so smooth and I like to do it especially during the winter because my skin gets so dry so I want to show you guys how I do that real quick in the winter I like to use an oil to um, put down first before I do the blade because I think it helps a lot especially in the winter because you don't want to like make your skin more dry or more red so I'm just gonna put on a little bit of this 100% um, plant drive squalene I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my face so that it kind of gives the razor like a lubricant so that it like will glide easy and it won't irritate your skin as much so so you take the blade and you go the side down like that and you just go like this And you really want to hold your skin taut like that. It's kind of awkward how I'm doing it in the camera right now because um, the angle I'm trying to show you guys, but usually it's not that slow. But yeah, it's like I already got off quite a bit. So I'm just going to continue to do that on the rest of my face with my mirror right here. You always want to go down. You just do it in a like scraping pattern like this, but never glide it down your skin. Don't ever take the blade off of your face because you don't want to cut your face. These aren't really like sharp enough to cut you, but. I even get, I even get like back here so that it's, but you have to be careful because last time, last time I legit cut myself like three times and I had like a red line on my neck because I wasn't careful. Upper lip, you want to go like this. So you pull this like taut here.
never bring the blade over edges so like don't try to go under here while you're doing these passes because it's really easy to cut yourself that way so just stay in one section as you go and also if you have open like acne or any cuts or anything don't go over them obviously because it could spread it so just go around them if you need to you would be so surprised how much dry skin you have that you don't know you do until you take it off it's already getting kind of dull so I definitely don't use it more than I don't use it more than twice I honestly wouldn't even use this again. Like it's pretty dull already. So yeah, your skin's gonna be a little bit red after. That's pretty normal. Just put some more um, moisturizer or oil on and you'll be good. I'm getting too crazy. <laughs> If I keep going, I'm going to go all night long. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy that quick little tutorial. Let me show you how much skin, or how much dead skin. That is filthy. So, yeah, definitely try this. Again, I got the blades at Marshall's, but I will link the ones below that I actually like a lot more. And they're from Amazon, and they're super cheap. So, yeah, I'll link those down below. Okay, this is the before of my spray tan. It's pale as a ghosty. I literally go into this lady's house and she moved, I guess, because it's a different house, but I'm actually scared. I'll update you guys when I'm done. Done. I don't look good. I look dirty. Will the shower fix it? Yeah. But you, I, like, I'm gonna sleep in it tonight, so it fully develops, and then tomorrow morning I'll take a shower, and it'll, most of it will come off, but, like, I look crazy. Okay, my spray tan is still, like, pretty dark. I showered this morning, but it's definitely, like, nice to be tan. I just feel, like, crazy because... Everybody else is so pale, so I like stand out. I have to run up to school on campus and I have to go to a building and get some paperwork done for my TA position. I'm gonna go run up there and do that because I have literally been meaning to get it done for like two weeks and I have homework that I like have to get done today. I've been putting it off for a week. So I need to do homework. It's so cold out. It's literally like 15 degrees and it snowed another two inches yesterday so my car is covered in snow so i need to go um clear my car off and everything but i'm wearing the joggers i got from marshall's the other day and they look so good with my tan like they're so cute trying to get all my homework done today so that I can film a video tomorrow um, for Valentine's Day. So I'm working on getting all my homework done and I'm just going to be having a pretty boring night. So I was just going to end off the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Um, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in my next video.